How did I, a weird Irish guy, with the help of my business partner, Robert Ricky, start an eight-figure business from complete scratch with no outside funding. In this video, I'm gonna break down the entire story so that you can see the full journey and you can also become inspired for your own journey and you can see it's possible to go from nowhere to having a business that's doing incredibly well. So let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, it's important to mention that, you know, I did not do everything I'm about to talk about on my own. As in, it wasn't just me, Stephen, starting a company, growing it to eight figures, and I had no outside help whatsoever. That's not true at all. Right now at Marketplace Superheroes, you know, we have nearly 30 people on our team, contractors, different types of people all over the world, some full-time, some part-time. Obviously, I've had Robert Ricky as well, my business partner and still a business partner to this day. So I have not done it on my own, but let's get into it anyway. So my story begins like maybe yours does. I was a an employee or as a data processor working in what was the most boring job in the world where I would take information from forms and I would type it into computer. That's all I did every single day. And I did that for a long, long time. And the reason for that was I was trying to make it in the music industry. So I thought I'm gonna be a rock star, right? Now you might've guessed I didn't actually get there, but I'm okay, I'm over it. So anyway, I was trying to make it in music. I was working as a data processor for a government department and the music thing didn't work out. And so I was left, no, no future. The thing I thought I was gonna do for the rest of my life, completely blown up in smoke. And I became pretty lost. So I was in my early 20s at this time and I started drinking too much, you know, I was eating too much. I put on tons of weight and looked super weird. So much so that I had studied uh, two years business in college down in Wexford where I'm from. And I went back because I actually won student of the year, the student of the year award. And I went back to accept that award and people were like, whoa, what happened to you? What did you get like stung by a bee or something? And no, I was just eating crap and drinking too much. And it wasn't a good time in my life. I mean, I'm, I know I'm kind of laughing about it now, but genuinely, it was not a good time. I just thought, you know, what am I gonna do with my life? And so a little bit of an existential crisis, looking around, thinking what am I gonna do? So I searched online for how to make money. You've probably done that yourself. Maybe that's how you arrived at this video. Who knows? But I started to find all these BS things, you know, teach other people how to make money, then you can make money. Kind of what I do now, but anyway, uh, I do it in a very honest way now, but I'm talking about those people and you know who they are, the Lamborghini thing and all of that. And they tell you, this is how you make money online. And you teach other people how to make money online. That's how you do it. But for me, I looked at that and I realized like, that's not a path that I want to go down. Whenever I do teach people how to build a business, I want to do it based off the fact that I've actually done it. So I searched around for a long time, bought a lot of courses, got scammed left, right, and center. And when I say scammed, I mean, I bought something and it was of no use whatsoever. It was a terrible program and I tried it and it didn't work. To me, that's kind of like a scam pretty much where you actually buy something that doesn't, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So again, searching around and I realized, you know, hey, what if I could just sell physical stuff online, you know, real products? Would that help me get to where I wanna be with a business that freed me from my job, enabled me to make maybe just as much money as I used to make in my job, which quite frankly was not a lot of money. It was like less than two grand a month. Could I do it selling physical items online? And like a lot of people, I went down the drop shipping route from China and I thought this isn't really cool. Like, I mean, it takes weeks for someone to receive the products. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So cutting a long story short, my aunt heard that I was looking for somebody who was selling physical products online and she introduced me to Robert, who's still my business partner to this day. So Robert was selling products on Amazon, eBay and all that. And I decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this guy out further. So I spoke to him and I, I was weird wanting an opportunity. And I'm sure I said a lot of stupid things to him. But amazingly, he said, look, come up to Northern Ireland, come to the warehouse and see how it works. So we did. The warehouse was freezing cold. There were rats running around, like not hundreds of rats, but there was a couple of rats running around. There's a horrible story about a rat, which I'm not gonna share because uh, PETA, what is that what called? P-E-T-A, whatever they're called. Not the guy from uh, <laughs> The Hunger Games. Not that guy. They would come after me. So anyway, I'm in there. I'm in this cold warehouse. And for the first time in my life, I'm seeing a real business, real products being sold to real people. But it wasn't the laptop lifestyle. I remember wearing like these, you know, work, these, these shoes with steel toe caps in them. I was wearing, you know, awful smelly clothes, lifting boxes around. And I was like, is this the laptop lifestyle? Definitely not. I was expecting, you know, beaches, I was expecting cars, I was expecting other nice things, but it was none of that whatsoever. And I loved it. 
<laughs> I absolutely loved it because it was real and it was tangible. And I could see how if I could just learn how Robert does this, maybe I could do it as well. Cutting that story short, you know, for nine months I worked with Robert. I sold my own stuff on the side on eBay, uh, used items that Robert had lying around. I made quite a bit of money doing that actually, uh, where he it was of no use to him because he couldn't sell them brand new. So I was selling all those products off and I was learning at the same time. And at that point I was reading a book called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. I talked about systems and all of that. And I thought this is interesting. Like Robert's got these two warehouses, lots of staff, you know, there's money coming in, but nothing's really systemized that much. And so we began to work together on systemizing everything. And we realized if we just sold our own products, on Amazon, just Amazon, and we started using FBA fulfillment by Amazon, which I'm sure you know about because you're on this channel, we could do really well. And we did that. We got rid of the warehouses, we got rid of the staff, and the two of us worked together for well over a year, turning around the kind of mistakes of the past in Robert's business. And we created a new company, new products, completely new, new everything, and figured out our entire process around that. And so, yeah, within about 12, 14 months uh, from doing that, we were in a position where our business was doing, you know, about 1.3, 1.4 million dollars a year in revenue, about a 30% net profit margin. So that was nice. And life was good. We were traveling on vacation. We were chilled. We weren't working all that much during the day. I, I was working the four hour work week back then at, at that point. But do you want to know something? Something started to niggle at me. I was like, this is not this is not exciting anymore. You know, yeah, we're making some money and we're consistently adding more products to our business, but we're not really doing anything other than that. We're not changing the world at all. We're selling simple products, which is great, but we're not making a dent on the universe, which I wanted to do. I said to Robert, you know, there's other people out there teaching Amazon and the stuff they teach is fine, but we've had our own way of doing things that we have learned through this entire process of building the business from scratch. And so we decided to create Marketplace Superheroes. That was like 2000, late 2014 and roughly we launched that. And nobody knew who we were, uh, nobody cared who we were, but you know, what I started to do, I'd be in Facebook groups and I was talking about, you know, this is the thing we're doing. We're documenting how we built a business now, which at that point in time, from, from all of Robert's sales and my sales with Robert and everything, we generated, you know, millions of dollars uh, cumulatively. And at that point in time, we, had gen we were running a seven figure business working four hours a week. It was very interesting to people to talk about that. So we shared that process in different groups, a lot of different podcasts we jumped on at that point and talked about what we were doing, what we've learned along the way and all of that. And we were kind of on a bit of a crest of a wave because Amazon, lots of people were interested in it then, lots of other courses were coming out on it. And we had a very unique way of doing things that you know we teach here, how to sell in multiple countries, how to sell very simple, boring, everyday products, how to make a small number of sales and a small number of products in a number of countries. You can really build a cool business doing that like we've done and we've helped, we've helped other people do as well. And so it was very hustle. I remember when I started the program, I would do a call to speak to everybody and we started making some sales and we did that, like I say, 2014, right around to kind of like February 2015. And that's when things really changed. A friend of mine that I met at an internet marketing event in the US, right? I don't really like the term internet marketing, but that was what the event was. A guy called David Schloss uh, became a really good friend and he was running Facebook ads. So we said, let's start running some Facebook advertising for Marketplace Superheroes. And we did well, we did webinars and all of that. And there were times I made no sales whatsoever. And we invested like four grand in some advertising and it was kind of painful, but you know, we were learning a lot along the way and we were learning how things worked, what we had to talk about, what people like yourself, you know, didn't understand about this kind of thing. And after tweaking that for quite some time, we started to make more money on our webinars. We started to get more people to join the community and we started to get, be in a situation where, you know, sales were happening on autopilot. And again, I, I don't like those phrases, but that is what was happening. We'd already recorded the webinar, people were watching it and they were joining. And it was really, really interesting. Like we were, we were making, you know, considerable income at that point from Marketplace Superheroes as well as the Amazon business. So then what happened was uh, David introduced me to an affiliate partner. And that's when things took another jump up again. This is a person who had an audience. I promoted to a lot his audience, different types of programs that they're interested in. Uh, we came on and people really loved it. They felt like it was very doable. Uh, we were real, we are real. Uh, it was very uh, tangible for people that could get their heads around it. And 
it changed my life because that one affiliate promotion, I think we generated like $300,000 or something like that from that one thing. And that's whenever like my life changed because up until then, you know, we were doing well with our Amazon business. Uh, but you know, in truth, like things really blew up whenever we started to teach what we were doing. And that's just, I mean, that's just me telling you how it is, right? No doubt about it. Our teaching business does more than e-commerce businesses. But again, that's down to the fact that we're, we're teaching something that's you know, got magnitude, higher price, scale, lots of people who want to learn that. And the nice thing about it is because there's millions and millions and millions of products for sale, it's not like, you know, it's, it's snake eating its own tail or something like that. And even now, you know, we have 6,000 students in our different programs. And I can tell you something, I wish everybody did something with the material, but they just don't. You know, some people do, some people do not. And that is just the unfortunate reality of online courses. Some people say that online courses are broken. I don't agree because I have taken so many programs that have completely changed my life and I see the impact on the lives of people in Marketplace Superheroes who've really implemented everything and got phenomenal results. So look with that said anyway, 2015 life changed, we we're making a lot more money, we we're investing more money into advertising and things really started to grow a lot more quickly then. So kind of cutting cutting uh, the story right up to now, you know, we've we've added so many more programs into Marketplace Superheroes and then we started to think to ourselves, you know, a couple, maybe two years ago actually, uh, could even be more now, what are other services that our sellers need and their services that other people are not offering, their services that need to be in there, uh, for example, freight. So that was something that we identified after working with thousands of students and seeing people struggle to import their products cost effectively. So we looked at that and we said, you know, we are making money with our education business. And you know, I'm not a Lamborghini guy or anything like that. Even if you earn a ton of money per year, by the way, personally, you're gonna pay a ton of money in tax on that. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do that. So that, with that said, you know, we said like, we're making money in this business now. We're helping more people. It's great to see the results. How can we do more? How can we take the money we're making, put it back into the business? Because I never want to be one of those people who is just talking to you about ways to make money online, ways to generate an income. And I'm not doing anything. You know, all I'm doing is talking. I'm not running any businesses. So we don't do that. You know, we run a number of different companies now doing different things. So we ran Superhero Freight. We tried for, like I say, two, maybe three years to get it set up. And last year, 2019, it really took a big jump forward. 2018 as well, it took a jump forward in that we were able to start bringing clients into that. We had our own warehouse in Houston, Texas. Within a year, we outgrew that warehouse. We have a warehouse in Northern Ireland. There are all these different units in an industrial estate. We keep buying up more <laughs> units all the time so people think we're taking over. And we have a little unit then in Australia as well. So that's a good example of how we were able to uh, accelerate the growth of our business by offering more things to people like yourself. We obviously uh, or offered our coaching programs and uh, different types of programs as well to help solve different problems people were having along the way in Marketplace Superheroes. And so by adding in more products and services, by adding in more different coaching offers and things that really solve more problems for our clients, and then by adding in more people to, to introduce the, into the business, so traffic through Facebook and uh, YouTube and, all, and you know, all of that, partners, affiliate relationships, all of that, you know, we've been able to grow Marketplace now to you know, a business that's it's an eight-figure company. It's not eight figures per year now, but it's an eight-figure business. Uh, it's doing anywhere from four to five million dollars a year right now in revenue. And again, with all the team and everything else, quite a lot of expenses in there. Robert will give you the exact the exact profitability, but you know, it's it's doing very very well, right? So that's where things are now. You know, uh, the journey has been huge, and I've learned so many lessons along the way. But the biggest lesson I can tell you is you got to be real. Because if I was sitting here and I was not real, people would not trust us the way they do trust us. And it's because people trust us so much that we're able to continue to grow and evolve what we're doing. And it's so important to us that we're teaching you things that work and we see the results of people actually implementing them and putting them into place. And just recently, you know, we generated $900,000 in, in revenue, not in cash, in revenue on something that we were promoting. And that's another huge life changer because all of a sudden now, you know, something somebody else has that we know our audience will utilize, will love, is something that we can let them know about and something that we're, we put our resources into to add into our business. And that just keeps on evolving and changing and growing things. So at this point in time, you know, we've won five Two Comic Club awards from ClickFunnels. That's an award you get whenever a sales funnel is over a million dollars. 
we are due to win the X award. We should we should qualify for that, whereby your, your value ladder in your business, so the different products and services in one company adds up to $10 million or more. We're, we're beyond that now at this point in time. And you know, the goal for us really now is to keep on helping people like you learn real unique specific skills. And yes, we do teach people how to make money now, but we do it in a way that's honest and has integrity. And that's what's so important to me. You know, we teach people how to do, uh, how to make money through e-commerce. We do teach people how to make money through skills as well, like email marketing and stuff like that, that you can offer to other experts. And so it's important that the brand continues to evolve and grow. And because of that, we get to serve more people just like you and we get to help people like you you know create a life-changing income for yourself you know at this point in time we run a very big business now and and that's cool because that's the impact that i'm looking to create and i can tell you right now and i know a lot of people watching this would be like this guy's full of crap but i really mean it like the more money the company makes it doesn't really impact my life because i don't make all that money because even if i did it would just go to the tax person which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So we're constantly reinvesting in what we're doing, reinvesting in our team, reinvesting in our education, because I wanna be here serving you 10, 15 years from now. And the only way to stay relevant is to keep evolving and growing and understanding the problems people have, people just like yourself, and how we can continue to educate and inspire to show you how to overcome those problems. So look, that's a little bit of a snapshot into how we got to this point in time from complete scratch. Uh, it, it's been a, a crazy journey over the last 10 years where I started completely from nothing and, and built it up through e-commerce and started teaching and, and coaching and all of that. And now, you know, we do offer different things to other companies, which is really cool, which we'll be talking about. You know, we help companies do their launches and do their email marketing and all of that. And so that's where we are. It's 2020 and I'm really excited for the future. I hope you enjoyed this little snapshot into how we've got here, gotten here and I hope it's in inspires you to understand that like there you don't have to have a business that's an eight-figure company to change your life you know you can have a business that's making five grand a month six grand a month and that can be enough to get you out of your current job and and get going with something but just know that like whenever you get a business to that point in time that's not your all you're ever going to do you're going to grow you're going to evolve things are going to change you're going to change with those things and so it's really important that if it's ourselves or somebody else you're keeping yourself up to date with what's going on in the market so that you can evolve with the market. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed that little snapshot today. I hope it inspired you. And if it did, share this with somebody, you know, let them know this is a cool video I watched. And this is a guy, a weird Irish guy who went from nothing to growing a company. He's talking about how he did it. Please do share this with other people. I'd really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you in as much detail as I possibly can. And again, I just want to thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.